Hi, everybody. It's Gwen Peterson, founder of Spiritual Communities Network. And this is our, our monthly community classroom. This month, we are going to have Nancy Robbins talk to us about feminine and masculine energies and all of what she has to share about that, which is always intriguing. And um, for those who are new, Spiritual Communities Networks, Community Classrooms. It's just a great way to learn a new technique, maybe pick up some new information on something you didn't know. Meet our teachers, you know, see who does what and follow up with them if you are intrigued by what they offer. So Nancy, I am going to turn it over to you. Go ahead and introduce okay. yourself. All right. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Robbins. Um, I uh, work with a lot of different uh, dimensional beings, ascended masters and archangels and elementals, um, beings from Pleiades and Venus and Sirius and the She and the Agarthans and the Lemurians. So I kind of cover a wide range of uh, beings and we all sort of work together in a collaborative teamwork. We do a lot of planetary healing together and um, I work a lot with them with bringing uh, divine rays into the crystalline grid and helping us with the whole shift that we're going through right now. Uh, one of the things that's been happening consistently, especially over the past several months, is we've been receiving a lot of divine feminine energy, um, especially from Venus, which I see as a pink and white ray combination that comes down and they've been uh their mission is to help uh earth also to become a planet of love and light so <clears throat> uh, bringing divine feminine energy is also um important for us moving into the new earth and the new golden age and the aquarian age that we're moving into the qualities of divine feminine energy of using your intuition and going into your heart and being filled with compassion and nurturing energy all of those qualities are what we need to create the new earth with and those are also qualities that take us into the aquarian age um, <clears throat> which is an age of innovation and equality and um, brotherhood sisterhood and moving in those directions uh so um the thing that's in, that i found important is to figure out okay so we're bringing divine feminine energy onto the planet in order to balance the over masculine patriarchal energy just to bring it into harmony so that we're working with the strengths and the best of both and we're also needing to do that within ourselves and once we accomplish that within ourselves then we positively affect the earth with those qualities of harmony and peace and love so today i wanted to take you through a visualization so that we can get a better understanding of what our own personal feminine and masculine aspects are and so that we can get a greater uh, connection to those and understanding of what those strengths are. And when I first did this, you know, I'm, I've, I've always considered myself to be a very feminine girly girl. And I've noticed that, wow, I have a lot of masculine energy going on, <laughs> you know, and I have to, um, which is what I'm, a, I'm a doer and I'm a, um, I actively create and connect and make things happen and bring everything together. Uh, but I need to make sure that I balance that with my intuitive side where I'm always connecting and meditating and going in and being in my heart and making sure that I'm always operating from compassion and using, uh, making sure that I balance my doingness with just beingness and receiving as well as giving. So uh, so I'd like you to take, take you through this visualization so that you can become more acquainted with your own 
personal feminine and masculine aspects. So <clears throat> just uh, allow yourself to get in a quiet place. You can just close your eyes and just imagine that you have a volume knob on your mental chatter. So you're gonna turn that all the way down so that <clears throat> your mind quiets. And you're going to do the same with your emotions. Just turn the knob all the way down <clears throat> so that you're at peace in stillness. Uh, you're not feeling like you need to be or be do doing anything else. You're in the perfect place at the perfect time. So just find yourself relaxed and quiet. And we're going to use our imagination for this visualization because our imagination is the highest form of mental ability that we have that connects us up into the higher frequencies in, uh, of our higher wisdom. <clears throat> now imagine that you are walking down a long hallway. And at the end of the hallway, there are two doors. You're going to open the door on the left and walk inside. You discover a large room with a beautiful ornate mirror in the center and you stand before it. The reflection looking back at you is one you see every day. Now consciously, Allow the reflection to change to reveal your feminine aspect. Whether you are male or female, you will see your feminine aspect and sense the qualities of your feminine energy. Open your senses, examine and take note of all the details of your feminine self, the inner and outer beauty, skills, personal qualities and unique gifts. Just receive impressions of these qualities. Now reach your hand into the mirror and take the hand of the feminine image in yours. Pull this feminine self out of the mirror so that she stands in front of you. Know that she is a friend and give her a name. Imagine that a beam of green energy comes from your heart and connects with hers. Feel the connection and how it affects you. You embrace her sensing she is gradually merging with you blending your energies together in your heart. Feel the merging and the blending. She is now a part of you and the qualities she possesses, you now possess. Take a moment to reflect on how meeting your feminine aspect has enhanced your previous understanding of your feminine qualities. What, if anything, is different? How do her qualities enhance you? Now turn and walk out of the room the way you came, back into the hallway, and close the door. Now open the door on the right and walk into this room. Again, finding an ornate mirror. Walk up to the mirror and stand looking at your usual reflection. 
Now consciously allow the reflection to change to reveal your masculine aspect. Whether you are male or female, you will see your masculine aspect. Open your senses. Examine and take note of all the details of your masculine self, the inner and outer beauty, skills, personal qualities, and unique gifts. Now reach your hand into the mirror and take the hand of the masculine image in yours. Pull this masculine self out of the mirror so that he stands in front of you. Know that he is a friend and give him a name. Imagine that a beam of green energy connects your heart with his heart. You embrace him, sensing he is gradually merging with you, <clears throat> blending your energies together in your heart. He is now a part of you. The qualities he possesses, you now possess. Take a moment to reflect on how meeting your masculine aspect has enhanced your previous understanding of your masculine qualities. What if anything is different? How do these qualities enhance you? Now turn and walk out of the room the way you came back into the hallway and close the door. <clears throat> You have received the best qualities to support you from your feminine and masculine aspects. Take a moment to reflect how you feel different than before you started the visualization. What new gifts have you received from the un union of these two aspects? Do you feel they are in harmony within you? And what does this bring you? Sense their love and support. Know that you can speak with them individually or together to solve problems, to get new perspectives on issues that you may be dealing with. Continue to converse with them and develop each of their aspects as they bring greater harmony to you. Take note of how you feel now in this moment. And now just come back to your present awareness. Okay, so this is Nancy Robbins and you can um, contact me with my email address, which is nrobbins, R-O-B-B-I-N-S 25 at gmail.com. Uh, 
You can also take a look at my website, elementsdesigncollection.com. So uh, those are different ways that you can uh, check out more of what I do. And uh, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email. Um, does anyone have any questions now or feedback that they'd like to talk about with their experience with a visualization? <laughs>